Good morning and welcome to the... Good morning and welcome to another episode of our vlog. Um, so today we're packing to actually head on an adventure, which is going to be amazing. It's going to be the first adventure we've been on in five months because of lockdown. And so we've um, just packed all our camera equipment, we've packed some clothes, we're staying away for three nights, which is going to feel really surreal. And we're actually doing some work for a brand called On Running, which is one of our favourite brands. Um, we've been working with them since 2017. So we're heading off to um, a beautiful place, which we'll tell you more about later. Um, where we're going to do some, we're going to basically take some photos for them. So this video is not sponsored by them, and neither is the stuff that we put on Instagram. We're just literally being hired as like commercial photographers for them. So we're going to be shooting some new products that they're going to be launching soon. So yeah, we're really excited to take you along on this adventure. So I, have, I haven't told you where we're going yet. Do you think we should um, tell them, or should we wait till we get there? Make them wait. <laughs> make you wait. We're just leaving now. We're going to go get some fuel, and we're going to go put some um, air in the tires just in case. And the sun is shining. The sun's really nice. Like it's like it feels so super hot in here. Sunny. Yeah, it's really warm. Take my car. So we're going to start our journey now. So we just made it to the hotel, finally, after a bit of a long drive, a bit of traffic, a few accidents. Accident, yeah. yeah, so we've got a bit delayed, so we're just going to chill out in the hotel for the rest of the day and then that will give us the energy to get up tomorrow morning to do the shoot and to, to walk around. So we're not going to tell you where we are still and we'll let you know tomorrow and um, yeah, so see you in the morning. Morning and welcome to the Peak District. Woohoo! So we've just got up um, nice and early. It's a bit foggy this morning, but we're currently walking. What's this hill? A uh, Park House Hill, and then we're going to walk up Chrome Hill. Yeah, so we're going to get some shots. We're wearing the gear now that we're supposed to be shooting, so I'll show you what Hannah looks like. And yeah, then, um, I've got my boots a bit muddy already. Yeah, so we're, we're doing this coat from on. It's a new waterproof jacket. Obviously, Hannah's got on leggings on, and then we've got the new. Um, waterproof boots on as well so yeah they look really cool Hannah's are gonna get really muddy but it's gonna look pretty cool so <laughs> yeah and then I'm wearing like the um I'm wearing like the nice orange colours which I really like so orange yeah orange waterproof and matching shoes yeah so we're gonna crack on because there's people going can we just point out your haircut oh yeah Hannah cut my hair the other day so I do good looks good when it's got gel in it <laughs> don't look don't look too close it's on the edges but it looks really good, it's, pretty good. it's better than the long first hair I had the other time, day first time first time View from up here, so we're gonna walk down here, aren't we? And then we're gonna get some yeah, shots. Yeah, so we've got to walk down and then up again. Yeah. We just walked up this, so it was quite steep. So, where are we um, getting some photos then? So, yeah, the other side is kind of like where you get the iconic view looking onto Park House Hill, I think. So, we go up um, Chrome Hill, and then it's like, what do you call it? The Dragon's Back. Crest? Oh, Dragon's crest. Back, yeah. Dragon's, Dragon's back, back, which is what we're on at the minute. Yeah, so we want to get some shots. So, it's the very, it's very, now. um, yeah, it looks like spines. As you can see, yeah. You can kind of see them from here a little bit, like all of the spines that kind of come along here. So it's pretty cool. So we'll get some shots just here now, and then we'll hike up to Chrome Hill, which is up there. So I've just sent Hannah off to walk in the distance somewhere there on the little ridge before the hill, and um, we've just been getting the zoom lens out and getting some really cool photos. And like the compression makes this hill look really big. And then Hannah's like on the edge just there. Can't really see it in this, but it looks really cool in the photos. We're all like brought in much bigger and compressed so yeah pretty happy with that and the moody skies works well with the um, brief that we've been given for like the waterproof gear so pretty cool so we've just arrived at our next location and we've just stopped and had some lunch and um, we've arrived at a place called Robin Hood Stride and Hannah's just been telling me a little bit about it and I'm not quite sure I believe the legend I think it's a bit of a made-up story <laughs> well the legend is 
that Robin Hood um, because there's two rocks at the top of this rock formation that are a bit taller than the others and apparently he was able to basically put one leg uh, on either rock um, basically doing the splits I'm guessing doing the stride so yeah he must have had very would, very long legs he would have pulled some muscles doing that <laughs> yeah. yeah so obviously it's a legend but you know who knows maybe it did happen so you can't really see it from here but it's just um it's in that little outcrop there and you can see the two rocks just at the top there so we're going to walk over there and see if we can get some photos there's a few like um rock climbers over there so we'll see if it's too busy or not but we'll go have a little look yeah it'd be nice are you cold yeah freezing <laughs> bit wrapped up warm there. <laughs> yeah. If I've just got really bad like I have very bad circulation anyway, but more recently I found that when we've been in lockdown and you're just sat inside all the time and you're just stationary, like my body's been even worse. So yeah when I'm sat down then I just get really really cold quite quickly. So I'm always wearing blankets and hats on my head. And then you'll be warm in five minutes and then you'll be taking your coat off. No, I'll keep it on. <laughs> I just like, even when I'm warm, I just like to be like cosy, you know? Do you get that feeling like when you're in bed and you just like, and it's just the comfort of like a blanket or something? Mm -hmm. No, you just like to lie <laughs> naked, don't you? <laughs> and lie naked. <laughs> or maybe I do. Confessions. <laughs> This is Robin Hood's stride. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty dramatic against the, um, the back of the sun there. So we just gotta walk around the other side and see what it looks like on the other bit. But yeah, it looks pretty cool for some photos. Hannah's just working her way up. It's a bit of a walk across the field, but it's not too far from the car. Just feel really out of breath. Do you feel out of breath, Han? So we just finished at the um, Robin Hood um, location and um, that's the second location that we've shot at today. So we're going to try to find one more location today to take some photos. The wind has just picked up quite a bit actually when we were walking back. So we're going to try one more location and then we're going to head back to our hotel just to chill for a little bit before we go find something to eat for dinner. Because um, yeah, we both didn't sleep very well last night and Hannah's not feeling too great. So we're both a little bit tired today, aren't we? Yeah, I didn't go to sleep until about half three in the morning. I normally sleep really well, but there's something going on with my body at the minute, which I don't know what's going on. So, and it was really hot in the hotel room. Like most hotel rooms are just always really hot, and they had the aircon, but I can't open the windows, and it was just, yeah, it was a bit unbearable. So, one more location today, and then we're gonna call it quits for today, and then we've got all of tomorrow as well. To, we've got some other locations that we're gonna go shoot at tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. just arrived at the Roaches which is quite a famous um, kind of edge isn't it or peaks um, ridge line I've lost my words um, so we're gonna go and walk up there and have a look at the views it's kind of clouded over a little bit so and the winds picked up like previously so um, yeah hopefully we don't get blown away A 
bit windy up here. I don't think we're going to be flying a drone. No. It's like my eyes water. Well, we'll be flying up here. Yeah. <laughs> they could get shot like you on the edge up there. Yeah. I like that way. I like how like. I'm not sure if you can hear us because of the amazing amounts of wind. Um, <laughs> but we're finished photographing here, so we're going to head back down to the car now. Head back to the so hotel. It's so cold and I can't yeah. film my face. Yeah, so we're going to head back to the car. Um, we're finished now, so we'll go back and have a shower at the hotel and then we'll try to find some dinner. So we might check in later. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, we might show you what we get for dinner if it's uh, worth sharing. Yeah, it might be boring. <laughs> see ya. Might be a pot noodle. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another day. I think it's day two of our trip to the Peak District. I think it's day two. <laughs> I think it is. I lost count. I'm so tired. It is day two, yeah. And we're at um, Sandage Edge today um, getting some more photos. We've just got some really cool ones of Hannah. Um, the on sun's the... coming out as well, isn't it? Yeah, so... we kind of don't want it to come out though because we're supposed to be shooting this waterproof gear so we need it to kind of be a bit moody. Yeah, we um, need some fake rain like you get in the movies right yeah. now. But we've got some cool shots of Hannah um, over the edge so we're just going to fly the drone now, get some footage and then we're going to carry on getting... and then Hannah's going to get some photos of me in my gear mm -hmm. and then we're probably going to head to um, Bamford Edge. Yeah, to the next edge. Yeah, so we'll catch you in a bit. So we've just finished at Stanage Edge and we're just heading back down to the car now. Um, we're going to go to Bamford Edge next where we're going to get some more shots. Um, another dramatic like viewpoint area. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab some snacks in the car as well. So Yeah, it's nice because today it's not too windy. Yeah. Whereas most of the edges probably would have been really windy yesterday. Yeah, it got pretty windy yesterday afternoon. So we were able to fly the drone as well. Yeah, there's, a, you were there's a little bit of wind on top, but it's not too bad. And that's always because it's obviously just rushing up the side of the edge. So that's location one done of today. We've got two more locations for today. So it's going to be hopefully a little bit more of a chilled day. Um, not so much walking. So yeah, we'll see you back at the car. So it's, um, it's Johnny's birthday on Monday, which is tomorrow. And um, how old are you going to be? 25. <laughs> no, he's not going to be 25. 24. But um, <laughs> is it, what is it, um, 29 plus? Nothing. <laughs> Something. It doesn't matter. Age is, anyway, a, age is just a number. Yeah, age is just a number. But it's Johnny's birthday and uh, we're spending one last night in the hotel that we're in, in Buxton. Um, so we're going to have a day tomorrow, which hopefully will mean that it's a bit less busy in most of these spots that we've been to today, because it's quite busy at the weekend. Um, so we're hoping that tomorrow we might get a few places to ourselves, which should be nice. Yeah, because we might not be able to shoot here, because there's so many people at this edge. Yeah, we just realised that um, of there's like, I think there's, I don't, we've not been here before, but it looks like there's one kind of prominent rock which people seem to kind of be queuing to take photos on so yeah it's a bit it's a bit awkward at the best of times i find taking photos anyway so it'll be interesting we might just uh, enjoy the view and come back tomorrow we'll see see how we feel So we just got back to our hotel. We were going to do one more location, but there was nowhere to park and it was really busy. So we thought we're going to do it tomorrow morning, which is a Monday, which is going to be a lot less busy. So we called we'll, it a day. Yeah, we decided to call it a day. We're pretty tired, and um, yeah, it's almost our time to finish. Our calves are hurting. Yeah, from going up way too, haven't we? Yeah, so we got loads of good shots today, and um, we just got back to our rooms. So we're going to have a bit of a chilled um, afternoon and evening, and then we'll get up and do some more tomorrow before we head home. But just thought I'd give you a quick show around our room. Oh no. It's very basic <laughs> and it's very messy because Hannah's made a right mess in here. Yeah, well, you know, That's it's the thing normal. being in a hotel is that you've got to have, bring all your food with you and... Um, well, especially at the moment because we're not allowed to... Yeah, remnants of last night's uh, Chinese. Yeah, so basically we've got our like, a seating area here, a bed here, and then it's it really is just a basic room. So there's a shower and bathroom in here and that's it. So yeah, that's our hotel room. So. We will catch you guys tomorrow when we head to our final couple of locations before we finish this trip. And it's Johnny's birthday. No, it's not. Whose birthday? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning. 
So it's Johnny's birthday today and um, I don't think he suspects anything because I've told him that I didn't get him anything because I normally play that card like, oh, what do you want for your birthday? And he's like, oh, I don't want anything. So this year um, I've made a little bit of a special treat for him, um, which hopefully he really likes and uh, I'll show you his reaction in a bit. So I've just told him to go downstairs and take some of the bags down um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you what he thinks. <laughs> um. Okay, happy birthday Johnny! <laughs> so, I've actually um, maybe got you a few things that you didn't realise because I did you suspect that I actually got you anything? No. <laughs> Walk this way. Oh, go on then. Cake. Oh. Happy birthday! Thanks. Um, uh, you might notice that the lettering there isn't a Y. Happy birthday. A Y. That's a J. That's a J. That's what I mean. Yeah. But you ha a w where's the Y going? Up there. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Easy. Um, chocolate Smarties. No. Um. Yeah, you can't really see it. I realise I didn't bring a knife. When did you get this from? I made it. When? I made it this week and I put it in the fridge and you... But how, where, you, where have you had this the whole time we've been here? In the food bag. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Happy birthday. And I've got some presents, so do you want to sit on the bed and open your presents? Okay. I've got them in a certain order as well. So look. Ooh. <laughs> what do you want me to come over there? Say again? I thought you didn't give me anything. Well, I did. So yesterday we had a spa day, didn't we? Yeah. So I well, a spa day at, in the hotel room. <laughs> <spa day. laughs> Stay at home in the hotel spa day. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was fun. And Johnny thought that that was the only thing mm. I got him. Wait, wait, wait. My favourite. Oh yeah, they're, they're not wrapped. I just thought that was a bit silly. Come up, those. So do you want to open your card first? Get the cards out of the way. And if there's no cash inside. Yeah. Cards are turning out to be the best thing though when you get older. They always usually have loads of money in the same. <laughs> Not this card. Cats. Oh, Sky and Deer. Yeah. I saw that as well. Oh, that's cute. You don't have to read that aloud. Let's see what Hannah said. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve me the best, in brackets, me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I was try I wrote that while blowing up the balloons because I'm a multitask. Oh, so that's just, uh, that's just happened just now, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, with love. Right, wait, wait. So, first, open this. So we'll we'll start with rubbish first, and then we'll get there. Rubbish. Like you know, lower. Can I like, can I do, can I do the guessing game? Yeah, go on then. Chocolate. Or what kind of chocolate? Though? Mm, that's hard. I don't know. Yeah. Either it's easy. either M and M chocolate M &M. or or Cadbury. Cadbury. I don't know what it is. I know it's chocolate. I can guess that. Cadbury! <laughs> yeah, I like fruit and nuts. Thank you. Ooh, I'm not. Because you're nuts. Right. This one? What thing that is? It's a book. What about? Uh, vans? <laughs> what, how to build a van? Yeah. I've already done that. <laughs> I know. Some sort, of tra of some sort of travel book. Adventure book. Is this what came in the post the other day that you were trying to hide? Uh, maybe. You didn't suspect anything. Ah, oh, it's a uh, England and Wales with the van on the front. <laughs> yeah, it's take the slow road and it's got like lots of different places to visit and where to park and things like that for camper vans. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, they had one for Ireland and Scotland too, but we'll start with England and Wales. Yeah, thought let's let's do our own countries first. Cool. That'll be perfect over the next year or so. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> oh look, we've been there. Where? Pembrokeshire Coast. Oh, Tembe. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, we know about the Pembrokeshire Coast, don't we? <laughs> We're gonna be going there this summer. Woo woo. That's Family pretty cool. Holiday. Kirkstone Pass. Oh yeah. That's like the Sweet. Brecon Beacons. Oh no, that's Windermere. That's um. Big district. So, are you happy with your gift so far? Yeah. Happy with your birthday? Yeah. Thank you. I got one more. 
One more. Yeah. I oh, saved the best more. till last. And it actually, um, it arrived with my vitamins. Huh? Wait, you know, so that box was so, something else now? Yeah, so we explain this. So, um, I currently am taking vitamin D and uh, I realised that at the hotel they have an Amazon drop box, collection box thing, which I've never used before. So I was like, oh, I can get my vitamins sent here. Um, and then I thought, oh, actually, I could get one of Johnny's birthday presents delivered here. So I had to be like really sneaky and not show Johnny because it came in like a massive box and Johnny was like, oh, like <laughs> what else is in there? Like, and I had to like play it very cool and be like, oh, we just, they put it in a massive box just for some vitamins and you fall for it. Well, I, I was suspicious <laughs> because I thought, yeah, I just thought it was stupid Amazon. Yeah. What's this? What do you think it is? It's a box. Yeah, it is a box. I don't know. Like, just take a guess. You're I would say the length of this <laughs> reminds, me, reminds me of the Harry Potter ones. Oh yeah, that's it. That's chocolate. like that. Doesn't that feel like in the films, like the? Yeah, yeah, it does. So that kind of shape, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. That could be anything. It's gonna be a complete like. Oh, it's not a Harry Potter one. Oh, what the heck? It looks like an apple box. Is it? No. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> what? How? What? Hey Johnny, how? I'm so confused. Are you happy? Yeah, what? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Did I, did I pull off one of the best birthdays? Yeah, I'm very confused. My head hurts from the confusion. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get an Apple Watch? What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a poor bum. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, well I, let's 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 put this straight. I never really get you no. very expensive gifts. <laughs> so this never is like, expensive gifts. And yeah, I explained a little bit earlier that I normally, you know, I'll get you some nice things, but because you always say, I don't know what I want, I'm not, I don't know. I'm normally not that and fussed about getting get, presents. And you never get anything because I always don't know what to get you. I normally say like an outrageous thing, like Hannah goes, "What do you want for a birthday?" I'm like. I, I will have been looking at something. I'll say, "What about this?" And Hannah's like, "No, that's too expensive." And I'm like, "It's fine. I, I don't even. I don't need anything for my birthday." And I'm happy with that. I don't. I don't. You know, as adults, if you really need something, we get it when we need it, don't we? Yeah. So when it comes, you've to, got. I mean, yeah, you've pretty much got everything that you want, and you've got. Yeah, your... I'm not. I'm not really that fussy of a person. I don't need. You know, I'm, I'm happy just. Yeah. With a camera and going travelling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a simple man. So when Hannah. You know, that's why I'm not that fussed at birthdays and stuff. But then Hannah gets me an Apple Watch that I've kind of wanted for ages. Thanks. Oh. I don't know how you managed to do that. We're going to have to have some conversations secret. off camera. <laughs> oh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no. Let's go back. <laughs> I feel Never very... Nice present again. <laughs> I feel very spoiled. Oh, well, you deserve to be spoiled because you've had two birthdays in lockdown now. That is true. I don't even know how to open this thing without ripping the box. <laughs> you don't want to ruin the box. <laughs> Yeah, the box probably costs how much? I don't know. Thanks. Oh, best wife ever. So you didn't answer the question. Yes, I'm. <laughs> I'm so confused because that's, for example, I will have th specific things that I'll think about that I really like, for example, and yeah, I won't. And you don't really tell me, do you? Just and I won't talk. Amazon basket, and I don't know. Well, I, I won't even add it to my Amazon. Did I add it to an Amazon basket? I don't know. I didn't. Okay. Look either way, I don't. I won't talk about things too much. I won't say like this is the specifics that I like of a certain product. Do you need the. So I won't say too many specifics or anything, but for some somehow Hannah's managed to get the exact size, the exact model, and the colour that I would have chosen. And and this is not being rude to Hannah, but <laughs> she's not very good at doing stuff like that. <laughs> she, what technical stuff? Yeah, like yeah, the, I like don't, because I don't there take is an interest in phones or like certain model. I, yeah, it's not my. Thing. Yeah, because there is a bigger choice out there. Hannah, I would have thought would have been like worried about which one she would have chosen getting the right one and stuff that would have been like I'm sure would have been playing up with your anxiety I didn't, I didn't ask anybody I literally went on the Apple website and I thought there was one at the SE and then the 6 and I thought oh well the 6 is the newest and then but then there's two the... sizes How... oh I didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> okay. well we could have returned it if it was the wrong one oh, that's very clever of you Thanks. <laughs> I'm Gosh. still surprised so condescending I'm so... you're so clever <laughs> no, I'm just surprised that you managed to pull it off well, you know, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with myself. I, it was really hard to keep it secret. 
because I had that this bag under the bed like the whole time I've been here. I did see the bag and I did ask you. I was like, "What's yeah, that bag?" Yeah. And, and you... I just said that it was um, the spa thing, wasn't it? No, you just said you're not allowed to look in it. Oh yeah. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be these. I knew we'd bought more of these. (laughs) You were looking for the chocolates. Did you just pull off the best birthday ever? I don't know. That's for you to answer. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Well, you're more than welcome. Thank you. You deserve it. Right. Good morning, everybody. So, after opening presents. We are now on our way to Winnets Pass, so we've just parked up in a lay-by uh, just on the road and it's really quiet because it's a Monday morning. I'm really struggling <laughs> walking, I'm already out of breath. Um, so yeah, we're parked in a lay-by, walking to Winnets Pass, sun is shining, so lucky aren't we? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll show you when we get there. It's a pretty epic viewpoint, we can't wait to get there. Yeah, we've, we've, only, we've been, been here a couple of times, or, haven't we? Once or twice, once yeah. Once or twice, yeah. Um, it's like really beautiful views over onto Castleton and across the Hope Valley. Um, and it's an old cavern. What was it you were telling it's me to say? It's an old limestone cavern that's collapsed. So yeah. that's what when it's passes, and that's why it's like a steep climb and viewpoints over it. So it's really cool. Yeah, it's very dramatic looking and um, kind of something out of Iceland almost, isn't it? Very. Yeah. Very cool. So, yeah. so I'm just going to walk down to a really cool viewpoint of when it's pass. Hannah's going to sit this one out because it's a bit scary. Yeah, please be careful. <laughs> Always the warrior. sky coming out today so pretty happy with that so yeah this is where we are looks pretty spectacular Woo-hoo. guys we just got home we're absolutely exhausted the weather's been great today the cats are very happy to see us yeah and have you had a good birthday yeah it's been good and we've just got pizza to so it's finish even better nonos which is our favorite isn't it yeah so thanks for watching this um this vlog of our trip to the peak district of one running um, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, spring is here. See ya. That's what we do.